Okay, in this video we are going into the family bathroom, which uh, as you can see contains a double Whirlpool jacuzzi style bath. I can't show you the controls without actually filling the bath with water, so I'm not going to do that now. But suffice to say that the control over here is a simple push button on and off, which uh, operates the, uh, the jets and the twist control operates the power of the jets and on this end you have simply underwater lights and the uh, button on this side is to turn the bubbles on the bottom of the bath on and off very very straightforward coming over to the steam cabin the uh, controls are pretty self-explanatory uh, the water will probably be cold when you first turn it on so just bear that in mind before you uh, actually jump in. Probably better to turn the water and let it run for a few seconds to get the temperature right. Once inside, the controls are very, very straightforward. You have here a dial which uh, adjusts the water flow from the central top spout here to the handheld to the jets on the sides. You'll work that out very quickly just by turning the dial and seeing what happens. So the important things over here is the thermostat. It does have a safety control. You have to push that button in if you want it to be hotter than the set temperature. And this panel here is the most important one, which is the control for number one. The, as you can hear, the steamer on and off. The lights on and off and there is an alarm button if for any reason you uh, get into any difficulties. The steamer once again got two buttons one for on one for off once you press the button for on the red light will come on and you'll hear the compressor going into action. You do need to leave it for a couple of minutes before the pressure builds up and the steam starts to come out and it will start to come out from this little unit down here which is also where you can add, if you want to, your essential oils and the like, um, just to add to the experience. So all very straightforward. Once you finish steaming, press the button to switch the steamer off. Make sure that when you've showered, you shut the door, keeps the steam in and stops it from spreading through the house, because condensation is always a constant battle. So appreciate it if uh, you keep the door shut after use. That's it for now. See you in the next video.